Hi everyone, it's Peter from PS Sound, and this is going to be a very short video of this Golf that you could see uh, introduction of. And we thought to take a clamping test of it because these days there are not many systems we build with so many old school big chunky amplifiers. And this is gonna give a great idea about how much a system like this can actually drill current wise. So just to introduce it again, we have five amps in the system. We have a Genesis Stereo 100 running rear fill. We have a four channel running tweeter and mid range up front. We have this DLS A3 running the mid base up front, six and a half in the doors. Then we have another A3 bridged for a 10 inch front woofer, front sub, call it what you want it. And then we have an A6 monoblock running uh, a 12 inch JL 12W6 at the back. So we have plenty of amplification because uh, we need plenty of channels to run everything fully active of a Helix DSP Pro Mark III. And you will see, we will play a couple of songs, different songs, and you will see how much the system is actually drawing. There you go. First little song for clamping test, live, live music. Next, next crazy tune that's definitely going to put, put the, the system to the test. Let's see. has proper low end in it, let's see.
also let's check a situation when the system is not running full tilt, but let's say like at a 70% volume scale, that's plenty loud. Um, so you, you guys, you see how much the system is actually drawing. like 6.9 on 5 amps 5 class A old school amps oh. that's what we are pulling <laughs> even if I switch it over to 40 amp yep that on it's not moving so still old school amps but they are not killing your system just because people may now worry that, oh, they're not class D, you're gonna need mega big power and everything, mega big batteries. We saw that it's not under stress. So if, if they was the uh, class D amps, mm -hmm. would there be any difference? Yeah, probably would have even less current drawn even on less. extremely high levels. We had a clamp test in the Tiguan uh, mm -hmm. a few years ago, where everything was class D. We smashed the system and we were seeing like 35, 40 amp only instead oh, wow. of 70, 80s. Wow. So, yeah, those are more efficient. Yeah. Yeah, here your DLSA6, that's what's really pulling big power. Mm -hmm. See, now it's going even lower. 6.7 on the amps. So even at full tilt, it's still only 80, 80-ish. Yeah, wow. but that was, that was really heavy. That was, yeah, full mm -hmm. tilt, yeah. So. That's impressive. Yeah, factory battery, what is it, 60 amp power? Not that a 80 amp power battery that can fit wouldn't be better for long listening sessions without the engine on. Mm -hmm. But if this is a small petrol engine, it doesn't even create much noise, even if you have the engine running on, on idle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This system is not going to struggle in any way. So, mm -hmm. 